This is our E36 rally car, and it's been super fun as an off-road ripper. But you know what else is super fun? Drifting. So we're gonna turn this thing into a proper drift car. Help me! Oh you did what to the body? So, this thing already has a few things that you need for a drift car. It's got a hydraulic e-brake, it's got a cage, it's got seats, it sounds cool, but to be a proper drift car, it's gonna need a couple other things. Namely, we need more angle. We need our wheels to turn more. We also need it to look the part. So, we got a sick over fender kit that we're about to install. Let's do it. All right, now hang on a second. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen in between getting your over fenders and actually cutting up your car. Well, the first thing you need to do is pick a kit. So we went with these over fenders from Big Duck Club. They're a plus 55 millimeter, which means they give us 55 millimeters of extra width. They're also known to fit really well, and they're very durable. And the last thing to take into consideration is finding a kit that looks cool. And we think this kit looks cool. So the next step, once you got all that figured out, is to mock them up. So we're just gonna set these on here, tape them in place. Once you got your over fender taped in place and mocked up, it's time to figure out where you're gonna put the holes. We're gonna put a series of holes across the top, a couple at the front, a couple at the back. And we wanna space them out nice and evenly and get them all in a straight line so it looks nice. So basically what we're gonna do is just measure the length of this and divide by five or six bolts up top. We're gonna use riv nuts into the original fender and then screw them in with hardware from the top. I'm just marking out the holes for the drill bit so we can make these holes and put them right where we want to. Okay, it's time for the point of no return. We're gonna put some holes in this car, so it's now or never. Make sure you've got the thing mocked up the way you want it, the holes are where you want them to be, and once you're sure, Okay, now we've got our holes drilled, we're gonna pull the over fender off. We're gonna make the holes in the skin of the car bigger so it'll accept our rib nuts. The next thing we're gonna do is mark out how much of this fender we wanna cut out and then cut it. So we're just gonna kinda eyeball it. I've marked with tape basically where I want the cart cuts to start and finish. So we're gonna kinda come from around here and swoop up, do one of these big numbers, make a bunch of clearance. Okay, now it's time to cut. All right, we've been making good progress. The cuts are made and the rib nuts are laid, so now it's time to see how these things look. Hopefully everything lines up. You did what to the body? I chopped it up into little pieces. I don't know, man. It kinda hurts the value, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. Now there's more car. It's wider. I don't know. Well. <laughs> okay, now let's throw the other side on. This is looking good. I think it turned out freaking sweet. Yeah. For now, it's looking good. We got the fronts done. Now we gotta do the rears. Okay, so we've got both over fender pieces mounted up on the rear, so now it's time for the big part of the job. Cutting some space for our bigger new wheels so that, you know, they don't bottom out on the body. So we're gonna cut along this Sharpie line that I made, and then the trick at the back here, this is kind of double layered. So we're gonna cut off the painted outer skin of the body, and then we'll be left with the underneath layer, and then we'll cut and trim that, and then bash it to meet up with the outside of the body here, and then we'll weld it together, seal it up, and then do the other side. Taking off the skirts. Oh, don't get any gross ideas of talking about side skirts. Oh, help, help Adam. Help, dude. Oh my God. No! All right, you can let it back down. <laughs> oh. Stop what you're doing. Do you want financial freedom? Do you want it now? Then download Rocket Money. It's the number one financial app that'll have you counting those Benjamins in no time. We've all got subscriptions, but with so many, it's easy to get stuck paying for things that you just don't want anymore. I said go away! If you use Rocket Money, you can kiss those pesky subscriptions. Bye-bye. Scram. Get out of here. Get out of here. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels them for you with just one tap. We're passing the savings on to you. Take control of your finances now with Rocket Money. Click the link below to download Rocket Money for free today.
All right, so we've got our old parts off. This is the factory lower control arm, in and out of tie rod. WiseFab has all the stuff we need to replace it to get more angle. Let's do that. Kind of hard to get in there sometimes. You gotta get in just right. Oh, and it's just as satisfying. Nice. All right, so I just have the bumper cover taped to the bumper itself here. And basically what I'm gonna do is just use some more riv nuts and put some in this bumper that we can then fasten the bumper cover to the bumper with. All right, we've got a bunch of holes made in the bumper and we've installed a bunch of riv nuts in the actual bumper support itself. This is our last panel. The car's starting to look cool. We're getting close to the finish line and I am excited. Now you go in there. So we made this exhaust and we were doing the uh, rally build on the E36 and unfortunately we're going to have to cut these uh, angle cuts off. They kind of sit inside the bumper and since it's angled up it just shoots the exhaust into the bumper, which we obviously don't want. So for now I'm just going to cut those off so they're straight and then it'll shoot out the exhaust cut out here and eventually we'll do something totally different for the exhaust. That looks great. Yeah. Okay, so that's on there. Finish line, I can see it. Well, I'm trying to figure out how the side skirt's gonna mount onto their body. Might have to follow Joby's example in the front, and just uh, drill some holes, put some rib nuts. If we're changing up everything else, we might as well change out the taillights to something nicer. So, we got these guys. Just gonna chuck these on. We're gonna be taking off the old side mirrors just to replace them with something new. M3 style BMW mirrors. Why? Because they look cool. Okay, it's time to introduce what I think is probably my favorite part of what we're doing to the E36, and that's the wheels that we're putting on it. This is a set of Work VSKFs. If you're not familiar, Work is one of the most popular and highly revered wheel companies to come out of Japan ever. And these wheels specifically are a staple in the drift community. They're kind of gaudy. They're big five spoke. These ones are chrome. We got this set from Three Piece Wheels USA up in Montclair, California. They just happened to have these, and we said we'll take them. So these are the wheels that we were running on the E36. They're 16s, I think 16 by nine. They're not tiny, but they're definitely smaller than these. They also weigh significantly less, and the tires that we have on them are a lot less performance oriented. So these, while they're heavier, they're also more meaty. They're also a little bit stickier. So it is gonna be a little bit tougher for the E36 to get them spinning, but I think with enough clutch kicking, we'll be okay. But who knows, we might need more power in the future. Okay, we've gotten a lot of work done. The angle kit is on, the over fenders are on, the body kit is on. Now it's time to stick the wheels on the car, which is pretty much the finish line. Now we just gotta get it on the ground and get it off to the wrap shop so they can make it look awesome. And this is really what I've been looking forward to. So let's jam them on. That goes hard. That goes hard. That goes hard. You heard it here. Now let's check for clearance. So what I like to do is basically turn full lock right, full lock left give her a good spin and see where it could potentially hit. Same thing with trimming things. So right here we have to trim our factory molding. So I actually chopped this part already. Also matches the fender line. And now it clears. I see a little bit more that might need some trimming. So we're gonna throw some sparks at it and then bang the inside with a hammer. We should be good. Oh yeah, she's touching. So we're gonna have to trim, probably get them out, but I'm gonna go this low and this much angle. That's just a sacrifice we gotta make. I'm pretty much finished up trimming that side already. Just gonna chop off this over here, kind of have a good idea of how much to lob off since I'll just mirror the other side. Continuing the tread with gold. Gold lug nuts. Woo! That's what we're looking for, baby. Yeah! That's Credit right. card check, baby. Yeah, that's right. So I can't wait to see it wrapped and I can't wait to rip it. So let's get it to the wrap shop. We're here at Apple Valley Speedway. Delivery is super sick. We have a completed and wrapped E36. It looks awesome. We just got it back from Rap Legends. They knocked the wrap out over the weekend, and it really looks fantastic. Just take a look at it. This thing looks just incredible. I, I, I really can't get over how cool this is. I mean, it looks amazing. A lot of work has gone into this car to get it to this point, but we are here now, and I think it's time to see if it drives as good as it looks. So first, I'm going to go to the skid pad, get it warmed up a little bit, 
and then we're gonna try to link Apple Valley, or at least most of it. All right, let's see how this thing feels. historically overheated. We've had a couple of issues with the cooling system. I'm just gonna take the straights straight and try to link all the corners. So, let's go do some sliding. A little too much there. Drifter. Start losing your rear bumper. Hell yeah. Hey, you know what? This thing looks cool, but it feels even better. It's fantastic. What a fun car. Holy crap. I could do that all day. <laughs> Dude, this thing's a drift car, baby. All right, Job's doing his final warm ups, then the ultimate test of a drift car. He's going to try and link the whole track. I have all the faith in the world. He's driving great, and the car is kicking. It rained a little bit this morning, got a little drift lube. It's cool out here. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it. We built a real weapon. This thing feels great. I mean, that was fantastic. That was so fun. Maybe we should take it back to the shop and give it a little bit more power, baby.